Yes, Lola, I'm home. But not for long, because we're going to Paris, France! What? For our date! We're going to Paris, you know, the Cité of Lavelles. No, 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 no. That's not a date. A date is dinner at a restaurant. So we'll have dinner at a restaurant in Paris! Lola, I'm not leaving the country. Oh, yes, you are. It clearly states in Article 5, Section 3 of the Bachelor Auction Bylaws that the bidder, that's me, will decide where and what constitutes a date while the biddee, that's you, must escort the bidder, again, that's me, on said date for up to but not exceeding 24 hours again, the biddee is you and I'm the bidder. And these are the bylaws. Thanks for the megaphone. I'm so bored. I read all my magazines, I did the caress word. I ate all my peanuts. I ate all your peanuts. <laughs> I peed four times, so oh, I feel like I've been on this plane forever. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for takeoff. How long is this flight again? 10 hours. 10 hours there and 10 hours back. That's 20 of your 24 hours. Mmm, someone's good at math. <laughs> That's what I love about you. That and your smile. Oh, and your frown. And that in-between smile and frown face. And your profile. Oh, in the back of your head. Oh, look at your ears. What are those? Noise-canceling headphones. You don't happen to have another pair, do you? How about your girlfriend, Lola? Lola is not my girlfriend, and she's crazy. All women are crazy. Call her for me. Hook it up. No, I don't want to call her. Come on, hook it up. I'm not hooking it up. And who says hook it up? I do. I say hook it up. Hook it up. Please, it's one quick phone call. I'm begging you. Hook it up. How'd you know it was me? Oh, I answer every call like this, just in case it's you. Sorry! No, it's okay. It's just a weird way to answer the No, 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 I, I wasn't talking to you. I almost hit an oil truck. Oh, well, maybe I'll call you at a better time. This is a better time. This is a perfect time. What? Are you kidding? This is a perfect, better time. Oh! Go on. Well, my friend Daffy needs some dating advice, and I thought maybe you could talk to him. Well, if you'd rather not. No, not you. I'm sorry, I almost hit another oil truck. Driving's hard. So you want me to help Daffy? Yes. Would that be a nice thing for me to do? Yes. And you like nice people? Yes. So if I help Daffy, you'll like me? Uh, I guess. Then I'll do it. Great. Thanks. Uh-oh. What? You won't do it? No, that time I did hit an oil truck. I have to go. Bye. <laughs> What are you doing here? You called me. You were hysterical. Oh, right. It's a simple fracture. She'll have the cast off in about six weeks. How did it happen? It's crazy. I was out buying cupcakes when I noticed a baby stuck on top of a building. I knew I had to save that baby. So I finished my cupcake and shimmied up the drain pipe when suddenly the drain pipe started coming loose from the building. And you fell and broke your leg? No. I let go of the drain pipe just in time and grabbed hold of a telephone wire. So there I was, hanging from the wire. I started swinging myself back and forth until finally I flung myself as high as I could, hoping I would make it to the roof, but I didn't make it to the roof. I was totally out of control and I went crashing through a giant plate glass window. And that's when you broke your leg? No. I landed flat on my back in the middle of some girl's apartment. Hello. She was super sweet. We're totally having lunch next week. Anyway. I found my way to the elevator, but it was out of service, so I had to pry open the doors and throw myself into the elevator shaft. You fell down an elevator shaft? Will you please just listen? I caught the elevator cables. I pulled myself up hand over hand until I finally reached the top where I kicked the grate open with my feet and catapulted myself onto the roof. But right before I could grab the baby, it turned and I realized it wasn't a baby, it was a crow, <coughs> and it attacked me. What? I tried to fend it off, but he was one of those angry crows, and no matter what I did, he kept attacking. He wouldn't stop, and he just kept attacking and attacking until finally I lost my balance and fell 15 stories. And that's when you broke your leg.
No, I landed on an inflatable gorilla in front of a car dealership. So how did you break your leg? Oh, I was here for a checkup and I slipped getting up on this table. It's really high. You should try it. No, wait, don't. You'll break your leg. Like me. She's a keeper. I didn't know where else to go. I can't stop thinking about that Dear John letter. Oh, I just need some peace and quiet. You'll find that here. True healing occurs when one is clear of mind and calm of spirit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. Your path is meditation. Mm-hmm, okay. And the key to meditation is silence. Say what now? A vow of silence. For the next year, you shall not speak. You know, I bet I could achieve all that healing stuff without the silence. What do you think? I'm afraid the silence is necessary. What if I'm really quiet? Does that count? What about now? What if I'm this quiet? No one will even know I'm talking. Sorry, no. Not a word. Well, what about sounds? Are they allowed? Like when I'm surprised, I'd go, whoa! Or when I'm bored, I'd be like, dee lee lee dee lee lee dee Silence. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Sorry. I just had to get that last one out of my system. Can I get you anything to start? I'll, I'll have, have the, the carrot, carrot soup. soup. Oh. <laughs> Two carrot soups. And try not to mix up our orders. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'd hate to jinx it. But this date is off to a pretty good start. <laughs> you look very pretty. I like your hair. Oh, thanks. They're my ears, so... How long have you been playing tennis? My whole life. It's kind of my passion. Oh, sorry. That's my phone. Sorry. A lot of stuff in here. Makeup, keys, rubber band ball, stick of cards, stapler... Flashlight, mini fan. Oh. I like to record my thoughts. Note to self, clean out your purse. Oh, here it is. Oh, hello? Hi. Oh, nothing. I'm just on a date with a really cute guy. He's sitting across from me right now. He's totally looking at me. Oh, no, wait. Now he's looking down. Now he's looking around. Oh, nope. He's looking at me again. <laughs> oh, I better go. Okay, call me later. Okay, bye. Friend of yours? Nope. Wrong number. Oh, is there butter in this? I'm not supposed to have butter. <laughs> I'm allergic to butter. Oh, no wait, it's gluten, not butter. I'm allergic to gluten. No wait, not gluten, pollen. Oh, no wait, I love pollen. <laughs> is there pollen in this? Can I get some pollen in this? You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really want carrot soup. Actually, maybe just one little taste. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, maybe just one more. Mm. Oh, one more. Mm, just one more. Mm, mm. You can really taste the pollen. Are you gonna eat yours? So what do you have planned for after dinner? How about a movie? We'll just sit together, watch a movie, mm. and not talk. That'll be nice. Mm. 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 This is so good. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not allergic to butter. Do you like this movie? I love this movie. Oh, it's so sad. But like uplifting too. It's like a feel-good movie. A sad feel-good movie. It's funny also. And scary. Oh, oh, this is the best part. Oh, no, wait, this is the worst part. Oh, I hate this part. Oh, I have to pee. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Watch, watch your leg. Excuse me. Oh, I love this part. Oh, excuse me. No, sorry, going back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Wow, that was a good movie. And now, your feature presentation. So basically, well, to make a long story short, wait, what was I talking about? I have no idea. <gasps> oh my gosh, I never peed. That was the worst date of my life. That was the best date of my life. Wait, didn't I have to do something? Note to self, clean out your purse. That's right. No, don't answer that. Hi, Bon Bon. It's Lola. Just trying to get a hold of you again. So, anyway, call me. If I don't hear back from you in the next minute or so, I'll just go ahead and call you again. Bye. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. It's the Louvre. I love the Louvre. Oh, I am a Louvre lover. You can't help but fall in love when you're at the Louvre, surrounded by so many beautiful things, beautiful, expensive things. The Louvre is the most incredible place in the world. The Louvre is an art museum? I thought it was a mall. Oh well, <laughs> when in Rome. <gasps> Wait a second, we're not in Rome. <gasps> we should go to Rome! Or we could just roam around here. They have great malls in Rome. The Mall of America's in Rome. Oh no, wait, that's in Canada. <gasps> we should go to Canada! Before you can have a successful date, you need to understand women. So, I've written you a script filled with things that every woman will want to hear on a date. If you say these things, I guarantee that any woman will immediately fall in love with you. Really? Just say those words. You are a beautiful, beautiful woman. You are the epitome of great style and femininity. You're my best friend. This stuff is pretty good. Told you. You're my best friend. In fact, you're the only friend I need. Here's a good idea. Let's get rid of all of our other friends and only be friends with each other. Also, we should cut off family members that don't support our relationship. Also, we should have jobs where we work together. Because if there's one thing I know, it's that if we drop all of our friends, cut off our families, and work together, we are guaranteed to have a perfect relationship. This really works on women? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just... I never noticed how handsome you were. Oh, thanks. You have a really big beak. Thank you very much. So, have you given any thought of who you want to invite on your romantic date? I have, actually. Anyone I know? Could be. You know that girl Tina from the copy place? Her beak's even bigger than mine. Well, thanks for the help. Call me sometime. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Thanks for getting all my stuff. I really feel like I'm at home. Remind me again why you're not at home. <laughs> because you're taking care of me and you live here. See? I'm doing you a favor. Gee, thanks. You won't even know I'm here. Oh, Bugs? Yes? Mm, I'm kind of thirsty. Would you mind getting me a glass of milk? Milk. Oh, no, wait. I'm allergic to milk. How about a soda? Diet soda, though. Oh, no, wait. Regular soda. I need the calories. You know what? Sorry. Soda's bad for you. How about an orange juice? No. Wait. Apple juice. No. Orange juice. No. Apple juice. You know what? Just give me the milk and we'll see what happens. What's that? Water. Oh, it's just what I wanted. Go, go, go. Ah. I gotta pee. When do you get your cast off again? Only six weeks. <clears throat> Stonehenge, one of the oldest structures in the world. Low light. Was it the druids who built it? Or aliens? Hmm? The world will never know. It's the Eiffel Tower. The world will never know. Oh my gosh, hurry! We only have two more hours left in Paris and we haven't fallen in love yet! Wait, have you fallen in love yet? Okay, well, quit staring at Stonehenge and let's see the rest of the city! <laughs> you sound like a pig! <laughs> My name's Cathrarg. I'll be your server. Lola, I didn't know you worked here. Yep, worked here my whole life since the day I was born. Can I get you anything? Uh, someone already took our order. <whistles> wow. Ooh, that's my jam. Wanna dance? Hook it up! <laughs> so, Lola, uh, you know I invented the carrot peeler. Too braggy. Seen any good movies lately? Ugh, 
Too boring. You have beautiful ears. Perfect. Who's that girl with the red dress on? Who's that girl? She's the crazy one. Not all girls are what they seem, and they can only be one girl in your dreams. I lose that girl with the made up name. I said I lose that girl with the made up name. I said I lose that girl with the made up name. And get with the girl who cared enough about you to break into your bedroom. What are you doing? I'm trying to win my boyfriend back. I said I lose that girl. What boyfriend? Daffy. Daffy's not your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. Say that again. Mm mm. That's okay. I have it right here. I'm your boyfriend. Oh boy. Hey Lola, I got your Chinese food. Lola? Lola? Coming. What is that? It's a stair lift. I felt so bad that you were having to carry me up and down, so I had one installed while you were gone. It's top of the line. That's why it's so quiet. Almost there. Here I come. Just a few more steps. Ooh. And... Almost there. Okay. Here I come. There. What's that? Your Chinese food. That's not Chinese food. Chinese food's flat and round with cheese and tomato sauce and a bunch of different toppings. That's called pizza. Well, I don't know. I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I have to pee again. Okay. There we go. Now we're really moving. There we go. All right, come on. There we go. Wow. The White House. Lola. I thought it would be more white and a little more house looking. Oh, our poor president has to commute 10 hours to work every morning and then do a bunch of politics all day and then get right back on that plane and fly another 10 hours just to do it all over again the next day. That man deserves our support. Lola. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. Lola, stop. You need to stop talking. We're in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Let's take a deep breath, look around, and just take it all in. That's a great... With no talking. Did you sneak into the club using someone else's membership number? <gasps> Disgraceful. I didn't sneak in. This is my wedding. <gasps> You're getting married? And you didn't ask me to be the best man? You didn't even invite me. Do not expect a quality wedding gift from me. <gasps> We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Bugs and Lola. Before we begin, if anyone objects to this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. What? I'm sorry, Bun-Bun. I know how much you love me. But I can't marry you because I'm in love with someone else. <gasps> I'm in love with him! You know what they say, the eighth time's a charm. Will you ever get over me? It's gonna take a long time. We probably shouldn't talk for a while. I understand. Peppers! So lucky. So, so lucky. Bugs Bunny. Dumb.
牢呢？